Does it go in orange all the way down there? I think he's walking back this way, you know. Even if he is, there's not much they can realistically do. I don't know if I'll go up there. Maybe if Ethan was with me or something. So it turns out on the other side of that building, there were workers, so it's a good thing I didn't climb her. Really tempting, I'm not going to lie. But I need to get past this orange. Well, it looks like a security guard. I think he works at that Biffa company, but it looks like some recycling place. I worked there a little bit, but didn't work out, didn't pan out, but it's fine. After I recorded that clip, my water bottle leaked in my bag, soaking everything. Okay, we just ran into a problem. I can't get over the fence, but then I open my bag and there's squash everywhere. I was getting ready to put this inside my bag. <laughs> I don't know when that happened or when the thing unscrewed. Literally leaked all in here. Look at it. I mean, I'm not going to freak out. If the camera had been in there, it would have got water, waterlogged, I think, is what the phrase is. So I'm thinking, right. Why don't I go up and then even go over? Uh, there's got to be a way, right? Otherwise, I've got to trek back. And trekking back is what I did. Feeling defeated for that day, feeling very tired, and having no more water, I decided to head back home. I've obviously been on this before when I was with Eve. Here, that's the condom. <laughs> Use one of those for respect. Okay, so I'm in Albury now, and I'm outside the Taco Bell. The reason why I say that, it's not even open. But I'm looking at the window, right? Those look like uh, bullet holes, you know? And then you look in there, there's window smashed to the floor. It's like, what the heck? It's like you can't have anything good anymore because people destroy everything. And that's a common noise, are you? That's not the police, I don't think. Uh, but yeah, it's just like broken everything. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I didn't see anything in the news. Get the new quesadilla jalapeno cheese. What are you doing in there, son? <laughs> There's all glass there. <laughs> so strange. Uh, but all I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to buy myself some water to replace. And then I'm going to catch the bus and go home. My legs are done. Days to week. Hopefully something with Ethan can happen soon. Yeah. My lip. I need water. Later that night, I get a call from Ethan on about an abandoned factory, so the next day I get up bright and early and head for the train. I'll sit right at the back. Of the the After a 20 minute train ride, I arrive in Birmingham. I need the biggest piss right now. Piss is such a stupid word. Like pissless. I have piss in my mouth. Oh, I'm going to be killed. I know I look like a douchebag vlogger guy, but you know. I'm allowed to film when I want, within reason, obviously. I don't, I've got to try and find Ethan now. Escalators. If you've seen Final Destination, you know <laughs> the scariest part of the escalators are. The game parts will be chewed up. So the thing. That's the, the kitty cat, cat thing. Okay, they're walking through, but I'm going, what the frick's this thing now? <laughs> the bull. <laughs> so fucking weird. Imagine if it literally came alive and it started walking forward. <laughs> so it's trampling on everyone, killing them instant. Look at there's its weak spot if you played any game ever. You jump on that weak spot at the back there and you pull it. You gotta do that like three or four times and it loses health. Anyway, I hate the fact that when I'm filming everyone's like, what, what, what's that? <laughs> That's right, it's not a weapon of mass destruction, it's just the selfie stick with an action camera on it. Still looking for Ethan. I can see him, he's down. 
Okay, even said he's by the seats. I saw the guy. I ran out of credit on the train. So I can't tell him, I've already seen him once. Newton, Newton. Newton, Newton. I spotted him. <laughs> I was looking at right. I, I saw you from upstairs. And then I was like, How good are your eyes? And how the hell did you see me from upstairs? I think it's because you dress the hunky dory way you do. Imagine if I actually thumped you in the head then. Oh, it is! Oh. Yeah, we're, we're in Brumdum now. Captain Sheikha. Is that, <laughs> is it yourself in the yeah, <laughs> it she could meet. Let's get all the eyes on us with, with bangs, I swear. You have to, like. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't like it. Uh, anyway. I think, oh, just another YouTuber, and then realised it's actually you made YouTube. We do porn, huh? <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna go and do the stuff yeah. that we do. It's all the kit and cuff thing, isn't it? Oh, this one. There he is. I don't want to scare him. <laughs> he looks hot. Oh, oh, dinner for me. Oh, stop it. <laughs> oh, he's concerned. I don't want to get in trouble, though. Oh, that is so cute. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're walking. It's fucking. Ugh, it's bloody nippy. And there was a video I uploaded which I intend to re-upload at some point. It's Ethan's birthday in 2022 and uh, we came here. Uh, this is the right place. So Sorry. Side. I genuinely don't remember what the place looked like. I remember the famous phrase that was said. Am I really that horrible? <laughs> it is a decent place from what I remember. I just like the music they had on in there. Am I really that horrible? <laughs> right here was where Ben no, said... I'm, I'm a, no, ben, right there. Are you just joking? Or are you just joking in public? It's really sad, but it was funny in hindsight. <laughs> I cried and I cried! I there. Just around the corner from the coach station was the building we intended to get to. We had not gone back to this building in almost 10 years. The last time we went was 2015 and we filmed a little video on Ethan's channel. Remember the story. You tell them, baby. First, you need to see this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you used that in your video before. I don't know. The lighting's better here. Okay. This place there is still active. The place with the uh, lights on. Um, we were. I'll try and show you <laughs> on the camera. Come along. Deep yeah, like bit. roughly there. Yeah. Um, me, Sean, and me. Dave Dex <laughs> in 2015. We right. like we climbed up the place, went in. I'm Sean, cool. and he found like an iPhone. What must have been like an iPhone 4? Because it was that long it? ago. It had a tenner inside, inside the phone case. But why was it there? And then he ended up fixing the phone and selling it. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> we fingered. And that's the noise the pop goes the weasels. After further inspection, we realised it was a lot harder to get back up, so we walk around the corner. In doing that, we find out the building next door is now fully abandoned. Fellow has said, I prefer to go in rather. Yeah. Anything happen? Yeah. I forgot my gloves. <laughs> Hey, anyone want fancy bump? Wouldn't it be funny if the place turned up and said, <laughs> I'd just say we just got in here. Like, fam, chill. Have you ever put your chili in the willy? Yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to have a break, so we're going to think about where we want to go, and then we'll do it. That ain't me, what's this? It could be you, Jonker. Well, I'm going to turn my camera off a sec, I want to get the other camera out. After a better five minute wait to make sure no one was in there, we decided to finally start going into the building. I think if we go... Wait. I'll show you my pen 15. Souvenir? Pen? Where? 
as you can probably hear, you can say in the background, it's been like flipping. Obviously, I went over Bexin like a week, well, less than a week ago. We got more than we bargained for, I think, with this building today. Yeah, not I think this bit's just dead because no one's in it. Shall we just. I think the best way to go would be. Is there a disco ball over there? Oh, yeah, we, no. Was it gone up? The fuzzy muffler's gone. <laughs> oh no. Uh, you might need that for wind purposes. Where do you think it would have come off? We'll look on the way back in. The fuzzy, the wind protectors fell off. Yeah. We'll look for it. Oh. It's not the end of the world. You could probably get it for like three pounds. Yeah. So, but that was a knife handle. That bit has gone. Okay, if we're gonna go that way, we need to like diagonally run. It's the chair of fate. Sit down. <laughs> you drop your stuff in there. Oh, quite. What I'm thinking is this place used to be like a production for like loads of companies because there was a Coca Cola thing like all the way. What, like down a thing? There, down there. It's the dripping water, it sounds like people running. <laughs> I can't see now. No. Wait, where's the torch? That's not, oh, there it is. <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> it was bad because I, I, I'm, I'm coming through the other way. I'm going to stop recording. Them. <laughs> yeah, baby, I'll meet you round. Oh no, these torches doing it again. Right, I've got to walk in the dark. <laughs> Hopefully it's, I can see just a bit. It's like really dark now because Ethan's torch has gone off again. Oh, it stinks of high duke. <laughs> I hate when it stinks of high duke. <laughs> yeah, your torch has gone off again. Right. Uh, I, I didn't know. drop it, like, uh, I put it on the floor. Yeah. But... Have it back. High duke. Do, 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 do. Yeah. You be like a fiesta fetishiga. Yeah, we'll go. I want to get to the roof. And then you can have an egg with me if you want. Oh, egg with muffin, <laughs> Like, I want this Coca Cola being in my room. No. <laughs> if you wanted to. The stairs there look like they block off. Um, we haven't been down that section, have we, with the open door? No. Open door policy, bitch. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna dart across. <laughs> Stop high duking, please. This ain't the place. <laughs> Don't you think it reminds you of the terror when the door got wired off? <laughs> This is a place you have your egg and splat sandwich. Looks like bad. This is This is like, looks like where you shove the body parts that digs all left it. The butcher's again, right? The butcher, a butcher. Oh, toothbrush. Cheese grater. Oh, toothbrushes. <laughs> 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 toothbrushes. What a crazy place. <laughs> oh. I've got... I've got you a present. I've got Ethan a present. He's going to love this. 
something you something you need for when you fight cod. Merry Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I've got my new pamphlets. Man. I don't know why. That was so gross to hit me. Okay. Nah, watermelon. <laughs> There's a thing that. Oh, I know why these pallets are there. Push the thing over. Wait, they're my schools. We're in the Titanic under the water with them. That's why. Oh, do you need a VGA cable? Or. <laughs> yeah, we'll find. Oh. We'll do. Yeah, that's awesome. Wait, if I. I wanted to go through there, but you don't know what's on top of it. You want to get try and get any pictures in here? Wait. I Cream coconut. Look at the date. Look at the date. Two hundred grams. Twenty twelve. Yeah, this is this looks so. Look at all these toothbrushes. Brushes. There's just endless toothbrushes. Brushes. 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 I'm gonna turn my camera off because the battery's running out. I've got two more. I've switched to my phone now, so it's toothbrush. There's tampons if you need. Okay, now you've got me talking. <laughs> Where are the tampons? Don't you look my butt. There's more. <laughs> Why are there so many tamponiers? <laughs> <laughs> Leave the screen, I might run your battery down there. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it will just go off on its own. I think your finger was touching it. Uh, we're just going to carry Put it on. It's a big gas canister. Yeah, I to switch to my phone because I don't want to run out of battery just yet. After going in the toothbrush and tampon. <laughs> After going in the toothbrush and tampon room, we decided to keep on going forward, explore some of the rooms. But then we soon realised a lot of the floor was not safe to walk on, so we had to be very careful with where we put our feet. Otherwise, we would have probably gone through the floor. Yeah, we'll just, um, we got to walk slow now. Um, basically, this could be dangerous. <laughs> This is not going to be a New York apartment. <laughs> you could probably live in it. <laughs> Have you said Oh god, it's hot in there. Yes, use my photos if you don't feel... T I'm feeling sick now. Not like cool either. Looking back, I think the reason why I started to feel sick was because I wasn't wearing a face mask or a covering. One of the things with Urbexin, it's always good to have a mask, especially like an asbestos mask. So it's something I will be investing in in the future just for safety, just to avoid any health complications years down the road, you know. So yeah, always remember to get a mask when you're going into certain abandoned buildings. Not all, just some. You have to be severely... There's a mossy bit right there. Yeah, there's a guy looking up at me. I don't think he's looking... He knows I'm there, but you want to turn your lights off. Yeah, this is a... Uh... We came here... I did mention that it's mossy there.
Yeah, yeah but you know, if you're walking, this floor is like, really unsafe. Just be careful not to trip over the beam of doom. We then realised getting to the roof was a lot harder than it seemed because there was no clear way up until we found this one window. There are nails. So. Ethan's going over there. I just don't know how safe this roof is, to be fair. That roof just doesn't look safe. It doesn't feel it. That doom, 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 doom. <laughs> metal gear. <laughs> yeah, snake, snake, snake. Oh, my bag's wet. I hope my water's not leaked Bambi again. Eats. <laughs> I don't reckon getting off that way because um, it's the safest thing. To be fair, it's like, uh, what's that building there? It's just like a. <laughs> okay, two of us on here is a no no. <sighs> when we went through the window, we realised the roof was basically paper thin, and if we had have continued to walk just like before, we would have gone through. So we decided to go back through the window and just explore some more rooms. After what felt like an eternity looking for this roof access, we decided it was time to leave. We'd explored every room we could. We even found a room where possibly someone had been living because it smelt, no joke, no joke, it smelt like condoms, but there was clearly objects in there where someone had been staying. Captain. Yeah. Oh, that smells, um, yeah, we, fresh, this is a new, that smells like condoms. That's what that smell was, Johnny Bob. And we never wanted to disturb the homeless, but luckily no one was in there. On the way out, me and Ethan both spot someone across the way. Ethan, Ethan, yeah, 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 yeah. look over there, look where we were earlier. What? You see a guy? Where? Opposite the, the next to where the purple spray paint is. Oh my god, there's a guy. There is a guy. We're gonna have to dart out of here. See him there. No, there's a way out that way, remember? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's not an Urbex video reboot. There's a guy all the way down there. He might just be a worker from over there getting a smoke, though. Yeah, that may be our cue soon to leave. Just to be safe, on the way out, me and Ethan decide to go the stealth way. After our successful urbex mission, we decided to get some sushi. There's pumpkin sushi. I forgot, I'm gonna go, oh, I had the camera on. <laughs> While we ate our sushi, we just chatted about, about the day and what we plan to do next. Then I said goodbye to Ethan. <coughs> Sorry, the, I get phlegm. Oh, you ungrateful slime. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this feel like an airport? We watched all the planes go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Oh. No, this is the part you don't sit. <laughs> anyway, well, enjoy you your can. GoPro, lad. Five minutes. We'll go somewhere soon. We're after oh, it. That was a real day. Then I went to get on the train, and then I had a problem with my train ticket, so I had to go and buy another one. <laughs> So it's after six, or you can upgrade the ticket where you're going to. Yeah, I'm just going to find guys. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay, now we can go home. Next time on Dave Dex Vlogs, me and Ethan go back to the building and things go wrong. I got shorts. <laughs> ah, I bet you wasn't expecting to see me at the end. But I wanted to add this bit in, <laughs> shaking everything, uh, because the day I post this will be the 8th of April, and that being Ethan's 26th birthday. It's hard to believe, man, that you're 26 years old, <laughs> and I've known you for like so many years now, and I just wanted to say this is, I just wanted to say this thank you for, for being my best friend, and you know, I know over the past few years we've not done as many adventures like this and I'm hoping as the years go on we still continue to urbex, 
we still continue to urbex, we still continue to go in abandoned places and do things, but I just want to say thank you, Ethan. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being alive and, you know, sharing my memories and things like that. You know, it's hard to say stuff like this without wanting to cry because, like, for those that don't know Ethan in, in real life, he's such a nice guy and he's always been there for me when I've needed it most and you know although our friendship's not always been a hundred percent perfect but what friendship is you know everyone has their issues and things but me and Ethan have always been able to stay friends after all these years that's why most friendship groups and friends drift apart we've always stayed together and that's something that you know I hope never changes uh, but yeah even happy 26th birthday this year is obviously different because every year normally we would go out on Ethan's birthday and have a drink. I don't drink alcohol anymore so this is to you Ethan. Have a good birthday man. Love you. Thank you for always being there. And I'll see you in the next video. There is a part 2 to this video coming very soon.